Hey, Patrick, just quickly, a lot of debate on Melbourne Radio today backing in the March police statistics that say um, home invasions in Victoria are up 30% this year on last, more than 5,000 aggravated burglaries. And the Herald Sun's report yesterday that people are literally paying thousands of dollars along streets or in body corporates now for private security patrols where 800 police short, says Wayne Gatt, uh, the head of the police union. What's going on? Look, I can understand. I've spoken to victims of aggravated burglaries. And what happens is the gang turns up at the door. They demand car keys or jewellery or whatever. Uh, the police subsequently turn up and they've got two pieces of, of advice that they tell everybody. One of them is, uh, firstly, we know who it is or we think we know who it is. And B, from now on, leave your car keys near the front door because pretty much they're implying that they can't do much about it. So I can understand why people in these hotspot areas of Melbourne, it's not all of Melbourne, it's just these hotspots, are concerned because they hear these stories and they hear that the police are basically saying they are powerless to actually intervene while, while these uh, mm. you know, horrible circumstances are playing out for people. People are traumatised and I can understand it. People, people are scared. Uh, it makes sense. It's sad, but it makes sense that they use other means besides the police to try and protect themselves. It feels very American to me and I think it's a real worry.